All right, today we're going to talk about Lewis dot diagrams of both atoms and ions. And first we need to make sure we have our review of valence electrons down. So valence electrons, if you don't remember, is the electrons in the outer energy level. Okay, and we can go by groups here. Group one has one valence electron. Group two, two valence electrons. All the way over here at group 13, three valence electrons, four, five, oxygen in its family has six, fluorine in the halogens have seven, noble gases have eight, I'll put that eight in quotes because we know we have some that don't follow the rules there, but the eight is where we came up with that name octet rule, and that's everybody trying to be like a noble gas. So once you know the valence number of electrons, then you can go and do the Lewis dot diagrams, which is just kind of like a simplified way to show the structure of that last energy level, that outer shell. Okay, so it can be any electron X, and there's two ways to fill. You can fill one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for your electrons. This is a way I learned due to electron configuration, trying to keep the one and two together because they are in your S block. But for bonding purposes, a lot of people have switched to just going around the wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can do your um, Lewis dot diagrams either way. And these numbers just refer to the electron number. So if you only have two electrons in your um, valence electrons, you would have two dots, either two dots to the right of the symbol or two dots separated. And we'll do some examples and it'll make more sense. But you do want to make sure that you copy down one of these rules into your notes. All right, so let's start just with group one. Group one, hydrogen has one valence electron. So we're going to just put one dot for hydrogen. Helium, two valence electrons, two dots. Lithium, one valence electron. He has three total electrons. The other two are in the inner shell in that first principal energy level or principal quantum number or in that first period on the periodic table. Either way you want to explain, but only one valence electron overall. Okay, so boron, one, two, three, or if you wrote it one, two, three, that's perfectly fine. Okay, and again, boron has three electrons. Three right there. Carbon one, two, three, four. Or carbon one, two, three, four. Now, um, people are not picky about this. If you wrote carbon one, two, three, four, that's also perfectly acceptable. As long as you are showing your electron placement, then people tend to be pretty happy about that. And carbon has four valence electrons. And boron has three valence electrons. Okay, let's just do one more and then we'll switch to ions. Fluorine, seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that means fluorine only has one gap. Okay, and we know this because there's a minus one charge when he's an ion. Okay, and that's just what this is exemplifying is how this bonding occurs. Well, he has one gap to fill to meet the octet rule, so he wants to add in one electron there. So again, fluorine, and I'll do it the other way this time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it comes out the same way, one gap. Now this is just an atom of fluorine. But what if we had an ion of fluorine? An ion of fluorine doesn't have seven valence electrons. It has 
eight valence electrons because it wanted to be like that noble gas. So when you do the ion of fluorine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full shell. But you put brackets around here so that you can note that this guy is charged. So brackets with the charge, and that's how you draw the ion. And this guy obviously is an anion because he's a negative charge. If we were doing something like magnesium, the atom too, and it could be open circles, closed circles, or X's, again, not super picky on this, just as long as you know that magnesium has two valence electrons because it's in group two. Now, what does magnesium do when it wants to have form an ionic bond? It has a plus two charge, which means it has two less electrons. So that means magnesium has lost those two dots. And you would write it like that. And that's about it, atoms and ions. And then we will do structures next.